a gem. It is something like I've never seen in Arizona. I couldn't believe it when I first laid eyes on it. In the rim country of central Arizona, a verdant paradise lost almost a century ago has returned after being sacrificed for the sake of industry. Fossil Creek, a crystal clear, travertine rich body of water, once again flows through the Mazatzal Mountains, and with it, a renewed proliferation of native plant and fish species. You have the opportunity to just swim with thousands of fish swimming around you, and neither one seems to be bothered by the other. It's quite an experience at Fossil Creek. You know, Fossil Creek represents a miracle um, in terms of conservation efforts in the Southwest and in the United States. And that is, is that we took a stream that had been denied water for a hundred years um, and we put the water back. In 1908, the water was diverted to supply the first two hydroelectric plants in the territory of Arizona. In 2005, almost a hundred years later, Arizona Public Service decommissioned the last of the dams that held back Fossil Creek after citizen and environmental groups questioned the validity of the small amount of power being generated. They gave it up for the better public good. And that's, that's uh, not only rare, it's never happened in Arizona, and I don't know that it's ever happened in the Southwest. News of the born-again desert paradise quickly spread. In the last five years, since Arizona Public Service returned water to the creek bed, Fossil Creek has become a mecca. Now the fragile riparian ecosystem in the process of re-emerging is also in danger of being damaged by a large number of visitors trying to escape Arizona's desert heat. The sheer number of people we see is, is tremendous. Uh, it, it can approach a thousand people on a Saturday along four miles of waterway. If you do the math on that, that's about one person in the creek every 20 feet. Well, it's relatively close to Phoenix, where we're from, uh, so the drive isn't too bad. And it's beautiful just going down. There's lots of water. People can play, uh, swim, uh, great camping. It's cooler, and it's just generally beautiful all around. Increased foot traffic has eroded stream banks and damaged fragile vegetation. Lack of parking along narrow dirt roads has resulted in not only a safety hazard, but further displaced vegetation and habitat. With no trash service or even trash cans within 15 miles, human refuse is also often left behind. Forest Service employees like Aaron Roddert educate the public about good stewardship, but confess the human impact is just too large. If something isn't done, uh, we could potentially damage some of those values that the creek was designated for in the first place. In 2009, Fossil Creek became part of America's conservation lands and was designated a wild and scenic river by Congress. The designation provides protection for the waterway as well as its unique cultural, scenic, ecological and recreational values. Because of the area's extreme popularity, limitations on public visitation will likely be included as part of a future management plan. For the time being, Fossil Creek struggles with its newfound fame. It's very popular. It's rare. You know, the lesson that we really need, need to take away from this is we need more uh, miracles and success stories like Fossil Creek because we have a population that really desires this type of recreation and this experience with nature. For This American Land, I'm Bruce Burkhart.